I would expect some communication. I got nothing. Sharon Barnes' daughter is a patient at St. Luke's Behavioral Health Center being treated for bipolar. At least, that's where Sharon thought she was, until she got a phone call. It was her calling to ask me where she was going. Sharon says that was the first she'd heard of any move. I was never informed. I was never informed they would be moving her. And then I was never informed of where she actually was sent. St. Luke's Behavioral Health Center's air conditioning had gone out. Sharon's daughter was in an intake facility somewhere else because it was too hot. She's still there. I'm her legal guardian and I have mental health authority, which means I'm supposed to be kept informed. St. Luke's parent company, Stewart Healthcare, says the air conditioning broke at the end of last week. A spokesperson says they've installed new chillers and the building's cooling down. Stewart Healthcare filed for bankruptcy in Texas back in May. It was supposed to start auctioning off four hospitals in Arizona today, including St. Luke's, but that auction was postponed. Arizona Attorney General Chris May has opened an investigation into the bankruptcy, its effects, and what led up to it. A spokesman said they're aware of the air conditioning problem. Sharon says she hasn't heard how long her daughter might be in another facility. Stewart Healthcare sent a statement that said, A vast majority of our patients were safely and quickly transferred to other facilities within 24 hours. But because of the highly acute nature of some of the patients, it took the efforts of our team working closely with multiple state agencies, including the Arizona Department of Health, to find other appropriate facilities for those patients. The last patient was placed at 5.30 a.m. Saturday, August 10th. Every effort is currently being made to repair the chiller so we can reopen St. Luke's Behavioral Health Center as soon as possible. William Pitts, 12 News.